Hello chess fans, this is Chess to Impress with coverage from the last day of the 2016 Grand Chess Tour in Leuven, in Belgium, not too far from Brussels. Magnus Carlsen is the winner, as he so often is the winner. He won the rapid section, won the blitz section, started the last day with 5 points out of 6 games and by that time he was the winner. So it was not an exciting finish for the top position. Carlsen outplayed everybody. I've picked out five positions, five blunders from the world elite. Of course it's not really fair to show those positions because they were made with the players being under a lot of pressure, especially from the clock, with seconds to make their moves. But on the other hand, it is nice to see that they are human and that they make the same mistakes that you and I always make. This is from Wesley So against Vladimir Kramnik from the first round of the last day. So is white, Kramnik is black. And this is the position after 40 knight b5 to d4. Position is equal, material is equal. And here Kramnik took the pawn on g3. And with that he set up a devilish little trick. So didn't see it, he played rook b5 and resigned after rook takes d4 check. Because the pawn on e3 is pinned. If e takes d4 then rook takes a3 and black has won a piece. So of course saw that and he resigned in the position where he played rook b5. If he plays rook b4 the position is equal and not much is happening. This is from round 2. White Magnus Carlsen, black Veselin Topalov. And this is the position after 35, rook b1 to c1. Equal position, equal material. If Topalov plays queen b3 here the game goes on but the position is equal. He blundered, he played rook a2 and fell for the simple knight fork, knight b4 attacking both rook and queen. Topalov loses an exchange and he resigned immediately. From round 3, white Vishwanathan Anand, black Magnus Carlsen and this is the position after bishop e6 to d5 on the 32nd move. There's an unpleasant pin. The bishop pinning the knight is unpleasant and Anand tried to solve that by playing king f1. He's a little bit worse and it's difficult to defend but after king f1 came the strong move from Carlsen knight g4 and Anand hesitated a second but still played h2, h3, which loses a pawn. Carlsen imme immediately saw it. He's played bishop takes f3. And if this bishop is taken back, then there is knight h2. And black wins an exchange. So Anand played h takes g4, but now the bishop that is attacked can in fact capture the pawn and black has won a pawn in the process and Carlsen went on went on to win this game quite easily. From round 6 white Hikaru Nakamura black Vishwanathan Anand after 32 a4 a5. Black is better black has an attack and Let's see how Anand won this. He played rook 8 to f6, strong move, threatening rook g6 and mate. For example, if white makes a silly move a6, then there's rook g6 check, king h1 and the discovered attack. The rook can go anywhere with checkmate. To counter this idea, Nakamura played h2, h4, but now there is a, another force mate, 
another mate motif in the position after Rook H3 that Anand played, Nakamura resigned because he can not do nothing against the mate threat of Rook H3 to H1. So he solved one mate, but there was another one coming. Nice finish from Anand. From round 8, Fabiano Caruana White, Vladimir Kramnik Black. And here White is pushing for a win. And Black has to defend. And as we know, attacking is easier than defending. And even Kramnik was not up to the task. He played Queen G6 check. King F1. And now he made the losing mistake. There's an echo from a previous position where Nakamura played H2, H4. Which was a losing move. And here Kramnik played H7, H5. Which is a losing move. Opening the def defense around the king. He had missed that after rook f5, h4 and rook h5 check. There's a mate, a forced mate. Well, he has to give the queen and if he doesn't then it's a forced mate. For example, if he doesn't want to give the queen it's king g8, queen e8 check, rook f8 only move and queen takes g6 checkmate. What Kromnik could have played, should have played in this position is rook f8, f7 check, queen g7, king e2 and then for example b5 and the game is still on even though white is clearly better. This is the final position. Magnus Carlsen is the winner. As you can see he won both the rapid and the blitz section and finished two and a half points ahead of Wesley So with Levon Aronian in third position. At the bottom we see Veselin Topalov who had a bad last blitz day. Hope you enjoyed the coverage from the Brussels Grand Chess Tour. If you did I hope you will give it a thumbs up and that you will subscribe to my channel. This is Chess to Impress. Thank you for watching.